All right, today I'm going to try my hand re rebuilding the snap-on 18 volt battery. The thing about these old batteries is they're they're NiCad, nickel cadmium. So everything now is lithium ion. So I can't just go to the store and buy a crappy battery pack and steal the batteries. I had to buy sells off of Amazon. I think it was $30, $32 for this box of battery cells. I already used a bunch on a different battery. I have the snap-on grease gun and uh, it's the only snap-on battery powered tool I have so it doesn't get charged enough. I, I should buy a flashlight or something and use it all the time. Anyhow, they got this foam stuck to them as an insulator. So I'll set that aside and I'll put it back on. Oops. The other one I did had a had a black foam. This is gray. And that black stuff came off a lot easier than this is coming off. Sorry for making you watch me struggle. There we go. And you can test these individually because they're not, not making a loop here. You can test them individually. right about there huh okay so I can simply take each individual battery pack about one there should be about like 1.3 when they're good so that one's junk one 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 which one was bad this one's bad so I'll get a little magic marker and write bad on it It was pretty easy to kind of get lost as so I was taking the thing apart. So then I started doing them one at a time. And you'll notice this has these four little divots. They're welded on. They're not soldered from the factory. So the other people on the internet are just cutting these off with tin snips. And I started doing the same thing because it's just not worth trying to trying to save it. So if you thought watching me get the foam off was bad, wait till you watch me struggle with these snips. So that one's bad. And they're uh, nuts to butts. They're they're positive to negative. So positive to negative. This is a negative, so I know that it's going to go to the positive side. And then that's going to go over here. So what I started doing is little, if you do a little origami, you can use the tabs that, I bought the ones with tabs, and you can use the, you can use the tabs if you fold them over just right you can use them okay so I gotta make sure well, that might have been better off before I folded it so I'll put a little bit of flux underneath both of them. Just 
doing this one as fast as I can to show what I'm doing. Okay, imagine. I'm trying to solder them as fast as I can. As soon as I think, watch that solder drop through. Grab my screwdriver, hold that on there until it cools. Just wait until the solder drops to the hole and then bang. So you don't want to overheat these stupid things. This is where it got difficult because of this sticking down. It's, it's hard. It's easy when you're doing them from this side, but doing this side really sucks. I got just about everything under the sun here on the bench trying to... Of course, you can't use metal, you know, that would be too easy, but all you do is cross it. That's just a little too exciting for me. Start crossing the batteries. A little flux on there. So typically I would check them all and uh, and write on them good or bad before I even start because I conceivably could have just soldered that onto a bad one so I'll have to maybe take it off but so every time you uh, put another battery on it gets better it was at 10 before now it's at 11.2 because each one of them is about 1.3 volts so that's basically how you do it. You just work your way around and then put the sticky back on, pack it down in there nice, sticky the top, and uh, insulate the top, and send it. Get a good charge in her and it should work. So for 30 bucks, you're rebuilding the battery pack that just like new. Um, hopefully somebody finds this helpful. Thanks for watching.